everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down Team of the Week, Week 5 and 6. The content is live in-game right now, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Originally, EA announced that this wouldn't be out until 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time today on Wednesday, but sure enough, I checked everything at 1.30. The normal content schedule dropped there, and we got Team of the Week 5 and 6. So, let's go over everything. We're going to start of course with your solo challenges because we didn't get any content for this promo last wednesday we got week five and six together and you want to play through these solo challenges the first two solos don't really give you much but the third one every single week once you complete it is going to give you a team of the year collectible normally there's like a lock icon that shows on the first two solos and as you can see you can't play the third solo and beat until you beat the other two so this is just an error where you can't see the lock but every time you beat the final challenge or the third challenge within a week you're going to get a team of the year token you collect enough team of the year tokens at the end of the year when the nfl season is over and we get the team of the year promo you're going to be able to trade those in for a free team of the year card and often in years past those cards have been auctionable so it's a great way to make coin also beating these solo challenges will give you milestone stars and the milestone rewards are going to give you team of the year tokens now with the patch that we got today a bunch of things change gameplay wise but also we see a bunch of different changes graphically within the mutt menus to view the milestone rewards now you actually have to hit triangle or y on xbox you're not going to see it at the top and this is how you can view it now all on one screen i actually like it a lot more if there's more rewards than you know up to tier seven you do have to use your d-pad to slide over to the right but as you can see every other tier that you hit you're going to earn a team of the week token pack and you can use those team of the week tokens to redeem for free hero level team of the week cards we'll show you who they are this week earlier today we did get the brand new season three field pass along with the premium version of this field pass which is 1500 points or basically 15 dollars. i put out an entire video breaking down season three the field pass all of the free rewards i only bring it up again in this video because i did want to point out one thing and i don't know when exactly this might be fixed but one of the objectives within the season three field pass scoring passing touchdowns it says that it only tracks in head-to-head -head solo seasons or solo battles but as of right now at the moment that i'm making this video you can go into a regular solo challenge and just keep repeating it scoring passing or throwing passing touchdowns and it will count towards these objectives again this might get fixed eventually but for now go into a solo you can knock out this objective very very easy and make sure you go back and watch my video from earlier today that breaks down the entire season season three field pass and if the premium field pass is worth it let's go ahead and talk about the team of the week content remember later tonight there will be a special stream showing part one of the most feared promo which should be going live tomorrow afternoon about 1 30 p.m eastern time as far as the team of the week content goes a bit of a surprise here now we got six different champions three from week five three from week six they actually went up to 90 OVRs. I thought that we wouldn't see 90 OVR champions until tomorrow with Most Feared, but they gave it to us a day early on Team of the Week, and that's certainly a good thing. So six cards, it's headlined, well, at least in my brain it is, by Syracuse legend Sean Tucker, led the entire NFL in rushing. Glad to see him get a card. Glad to see him get some meaningful snaps and actually show what he can do. We got Keenan Allen. We got Brian Branch, 90 speed, strong safety out there. He'll definitely be on my Eagles Lions team team uh, Joe Burrow Frankie Louvu and take tanks bit tank Bisbee tank Bisbee I really butchered that one that took a lot of effort from my brain to get out of my mouth correctly so with all of these cards no pack offers when it comes to team of the week and honestly I don't think that's something that we're going to see for the remainder of the regular season and this promo but if you want to complete any of these sets you're going to need four 87 overall or 88 overall players from any promo and then one 87 overall team of the week player you put all five of those cards into the set in return you're going to get the set of the player that you complete now with no team of the week packs in the store it's going to be challenging to get yourself an 87 overall team of the week player now we've had 87 overall team of the week champions aiden hutchinson is an example of one of them so if you happen to have any of those cards they're probably going to shoot up in price right now but the alternative way to getting those cards is going to be building them through sets 
So if you go down, you have two different routes that you can take. You can complete a team of the week, 87 overall champion. And for those set requirements, again, we'll just go to Aiden Hutchinson, for example. You're going to need four 84 to 85 overall players from any promo and then one 84 overall team of the week card. So that's option one. Option two is that there is actually an 87 overall fantasy pack for a hero card and in order to complete that set you're going to need two 84 overall players from the team of the week promo and then any other three 84 to 85 overall players i feel like completing a champion set is going to be easier than doing this set because this set requires two team of the week cards whereas that champion set when we showed you the Aiden Hutchinson only needs 184 overall Team of the Week players. And again, this one might be more challenging because Team of the Week cards are hard to come by because they are not in packs because we're not getting any Team of the Week packs. So in this situation, to get the 84 overalls, again, if you scroll backwards, there's a couple options. Uh, number one, two 81 overall Team of the Week players, and then any other three 81 to 82 overall cards from any promo. That's one way that you can go about building an 84. The second way is this Team of the Week Elite Fantasy Pack, which is only going to require two, I'm sorry, three 82 to 83 overall players from any promo. So it feels like this is probably going to be the move. If you have a binder right now, full of a bunch of 82s and 83s. You can build a ton of 84s, use those 84s to build an 87, and that's how you're gonna get your specific Team of the Week cards to go out and complete any of these sets. And of course, if you wanna build a bunch of 82s and 83s, you can take your binder trash, your 70s through 79s, and roll them upwards. Once you get to a bunch of 78s and 79s, you can head on over to the AKA tab. The AKA tab requiring three 78s to 79s will build you 180 overall AKA card, and then three 80 overall cards can build you an 82. And if you need 82s from any promo, this is gonna be the best way to get 80s outside of already having them in your binder. So a lot of steps to take, but definitely a lot of potential to make a lot of coin right now. If you have a ton of stuff in your binder, all of the cards that we talked about from these sets are definitely going to be going up in price. Now, along with the Team of the Week content drop every week, we're supposed to be getting a brand new Angry Runs player. Today's card is Tyler Algier, and you get a welcome pack that has an 82 overall version of him along with an upgrade token. And that upgrade token, once you go to the upgrade path, is gonna take him from an 87, for, sorry, from an 82 to an 87 OVR. Now, the big problem here and the reason that I'm showing you this in the catalog right now is because there's been a lot of reports of people's Angry Runs Week 1 Welcome Pack totally disappearing when they try to open it up. I haven't attempted it myself, but we're gonna go ahead and do it now that it's after 1.30 and it actually looks like it's working as, as it was supposed to. So if you opened up the pack and it disappeared and you didn't get another pack, honestly, I'm not sure what to tell you right now. Hopefully EA will get it resolved, but the way this is gonna work is you're gonna put the upgrade token into the 82 to make an M87. Next week, when we get a brand new Angry Runs player, you're gonna get a welcome pack that gives you one of the, I not shouldn't say one of, but the player that's featured for that week. You're gonna take the upgrade token out of Elgir and then put it into the next week's player and you're basically just going to keep reusing this token every single week for your free welcome pack player now he's also going to get a 90 overall version but that card won't be in packs or in the game until tomorrow with Thursday's content drop. And again, that's another reason why it leads me to believe that we just should not expect any Team of the Week packs for the remainder of the NFL season because they are dedicating the non-welcome pack version of the Angry Runs player every week to be coming out on Thursdays. That makes sense to me if they're not going to be putting packs in the store on Wednesday along with the Team of the Week content drop. So that's it for now. 690 overall cards. We do also have a bunch of 87 overall heroes these are different from the 87 overall champions that we've seen a few weeks ago david montgomery is one of the new ones stefan gilmore darius slayton taylor rapp so these 87s again can be acquired 
from that fantasy pack that we showed you earlier. They won't have individual sets. And if you do want to go out there and use your Team of the Week tokens that you've been earning from solo challenges, all the way at the bottom of the bottom left of the item set section for Team of the Week, you can see here is the 87 overall BND. Very important to point out these are BND, the BND Team of the Week Hero Fantasy Pack. So if I want to trade in five of my tokens, and I'm doing this without even looking at the attributes on any of these cards, uh, these are the players that I have to choose from. Again, David Montgomery, Stefan Gilmore, Tyler Rapp, and Darius Slayton. The only reason I went ahead and did this is because I do have a Lions theme team. So David Montgomery, if we need to throw him in there, he will represent our theme team. And that's it. That's Team of the Week 5 and 6 together. If you guys got any additional questions, leave it down below in the comment section. Most feared reveal stream, 7 p.m. Eastern time later tonight. And we will drop a video shortly after all of the information is revealed. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.